episode three of Strength Coach Tutorials. Today we're going to look at the ability to format as a table and use that as named ranges. Now formatting as a table um, is, a good, is a good way to go about making your named ranges because it allows them to grow as you add more and more exercises. So I have the same sheet that we used for episode one and we're going to just use this um, for episode three here in a different way. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make our categories here with upper body and lower body. So we're going to call this categories. Category. And then these boxes, we're going to use data validation one more time to get category in there. So we go data, data validation, list equals category. Okay, and these should be selectable with either upper body or lower body again. Now this time through, we're going to format each of these as a table. Format as table on the home page here. And I like one with banded rows because that's going to make it um, alternating colors. We'll format this one as a table. And then we'll format here as table. Actually, I'll make this a different color. Okay. Now, selecting all of the data from a table, if you press Control Alt F3, you'll bring up the table menu here and we can give it the name upper body. Or sorry, the name menu here will give it the category upper body and you'll see that it refers to table two and the upper body component. So here, if we select upper body, go through here, put our data validation back in Validation, we got to use the indirect function one more time, equals indirect. This box here, take away the second dollar sign. Okay, so we should be able to select our exercises here. And you notice it just shows the exercises that we have entered. So if we enter a new one at the bottom, um, say neck bridge and um, decline bench, these exercises should now be selectable here. So this allows you to add exercises infinitely. So let's do the same thing for our lower body category here. Control Alt F3. Sorry, I'll do that one more time. Control Alt F3, call it lower body. And if we select our lower body exercises, should be able to do the same thing. So now we can add more exercises we can call um, overhead squat, um, reverse lunge. And these exercises should be selectable as well. A little trick, now we can add rows up top. So if I add a row, right click, um, insert column rows above. If you leave a blank row at the top, whenever you go back to select um, an exercise, it's always gonna start you Okay, so if we leave a blank row there, it should start us at the top. Okay, so that's how you use format as table to create your exercise categories. Give it a try. Give this video a like and share it, please. Thank you.